So let's look at some more counting back change scenarios. I know some people are still struggling. So if you are, I want you to clear your head and just look at this scenario first. Now you cannot subtract. I do not want you to subtract. No matter what your brain says, do not subtract. I'm gonna show you the process really works. If a person owes you $4 and they pay you $10 and you're not allowed to subtract, this is how you would count from four to 10. You could say four, here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what did you just give them? Six dollars. You see how that works? I did not subtract. I just counted from four to ten using the dollars. Now, could you have said, all right, if I start at four, this makes five. Well, I know that a five dollar bill will get me to 10, see? Same amount, just different denominations, all right? So this is the basis of it. You're not having to subtract. I know a lot of people are really good at mental subtraction, but a lot of people are not. And when you're in a stressful situation, such as retail, and you're trying to give back change, you need the easiest way possible. And I promise you, if you learn to count back change, it is the easiest way. Now let's look at some real life scenarios. So let's say a person owes you $3.25 or $3.17 and they pay you $3.25. Well, what are you gonna do? Start with 17. Now you always start with your pennies first and those are ones. So count as you put a penny up, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, once you get to a, tw or a zero or a five, that's when you start using your silver coins. All right, so I'm at 20. Well, I could put a nickel up and that gives me 25. Now that equals what they paid me. So there's their change, okay, eight cents. All right, let's look at another one. Let's do 317 again, but what about this time they pay you $4? All right, well, first we've got to get up to the dollar. So let's start with 17 again. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that makes 25. Now, when you hit a 25 or a 50 or a 75, you're ready to use quarters. So I'm at 325. That would make 350, 375, and that makes $4. Okay, let's look at the next one. See, you don't even have to count the change. I don't know how much change that was, but I know it was right because I counted it. All right, now they owe you 317, but they paid you $5. All right, once again, let's start with the 317. Here's 18, 19, 20. All right, this makes 25. Here's 50. 75, that makes $4. So what would I do to get from four to five? I need another dollar, okay? So there's their change. Once again, I didn't subtract, so I really don't know how much that is unless I count it, which I'm not going to, because I trust the method. All right, let's look at another one. Let's do, they owe me 551, and let's say they pay me 575. We're still just gonna start at 51 and count to 75. So 51, 52, 53, 54, that makes 55. Now you have options. You know you're gonna be using your silver. Well, when you get to a five, if you think about it, I can go to my tens. So right now I'm at 555. This makes 65. 75, and that's what they paid me. So there's their change. Okay, let's look at another one. How about if they owe me 551 and they pay me $5.76? Uh, see, they gave me an extra penny. Why did they give me that? Well, it's gonna cancel out the penny here. 
So in your head, you do have to do some thinking here. You have to say, well, they've already given me one penny, so I can take a penny off of what they owe. So now they owe me 550 and they paid me 575. So what would you do to get from 550 to 575? It's just going to be a quarter. Remember, if people give you a penny, they're trying to cancel out the penny. So it just cancels it out on both ends. All right. How about if they owe me 551 and they pay me $6? All right. Start with what they owe. 551. 52. 53, 54, 55, right, 65, 75, and that makes six dollars. Okay, let's see what's next. What if they owe me 551 and they pay me 601? Once again, this penny cancels out that penny, so they both disappear. So now what you have is they owe you 551 and they paid you, I mean 550 and they paid you six dollars. The penny's canceled out. So from 550, it's going to be 575. There's six dollars. So that's all it is. You owed them 50 cents. All right. Let's look at what if they, you, they owe 551 and they pay you 1051. Well, there, this 51 cancels out that 51. So, in other words, they now owe you $5 and they pay you 10. So, that's just a 5. Okay. The cents canceled out entirely. All right. Last one. What if they owe you 551 and they pay you 575? It doesn't matter. Start counting at 551, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Then we can go to the dimes, 65, 75, and that's what they owed. Now, that's all you have to do is don't try to subtract because if you subtract, what you have to do is you have to subtract in your head and then you have to count up how much change that is and then hand it to them this way. You're doing it all in one, th one, one go. You're just going from here to here, one coin at the time, okay? So, good luck.